What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat, we are here playing Cosmonautica, and you may notice that we're back on the title screen, that's because the game released. Everything that I filmed up until this point was pre-release, and so the game patched up and deleted all my save games, and so now we're going to be starting over, but I'm going to try and go a little bit more combat heavy on this run, because I think that's probably the better plan, just to keep things interesting, to spruce them up to make sure that there's enough trees in the forest and so forth, and so on we go to start the game one more time, because we've got things to do and we don't have time to complete them. I need to delete that game. My ship is floating aimlessly through space in that game, which is like a thing that can happen to you. It doesn't go like game over and tell you. You just float endlessly out into space and nothing happens. <laughs> and so you kind of, the game is a lot more difficult in this iteration than it was like in the early access version. So there's things to watch out for. In particular, repairing your ship seems to be quite dangerous. If you don't repair your ship, you are going to get yourself into a lot of trouble now. So I think it's worth saying that... It wasn't worth it in the pre-release version to bring anything other than a repair robot. It might be worth it now, just on the few games that I've played in between here and there. So, we'll fiddle around with things. Let's create a new game and go. We're going to do sandbox mode because, meh, prologue. Meh. And on we go. We get to sit here and watch this thing count to 10 over and over and over again. It's like kindergarten all over again. We start with 17,000 credits. And we've got to decide what we want to do with all this. And I think what I am most stoked about is probably hiring a pilot. And so, let us see if we can find a pie lot before we go any further. Mmm, I wish that was a thing, like a pie lot. It would just be a lady selling a ton of pies, like in parking lots. This should be all over the place. Somebody could make a lot of money if they decide to set up a chain of pie lots. But anyway, let's get a pilot here. Alright, we got a pilot. Oh, we could have got her too. No! We need ourselves a science -icator. And so, she does science and also appears to be stuck in a permanent gasping face. It might be worth it for a little bit because we are going to have to fly around the galaxy and trade a bit before we can get started. We don't have enough. This 17,000 appears deceiving because we have to outfit our ship. So basically if we go and we buy a new ship using this money, the trade-in value is half of what it is right now. And so you would get 5,000. So we'd have 21,000, which would put us down to 11,000 if we got like a Pira Nano or a Sea Lot or whatever you really want. I think we're probably going to go with the Turtle Rock because it's kind of that middle range cruiser that I like the best. It does reasonably well in both combat and in trading respects, so that's probably what I'm going to go with. But for right now, we're going to stick with the Thunamon for the moment. And let's buy some stuff to fly around the galaxy. It looks like waste is the only thing. Oh, we can buy porn, but there's only two of them. So it looks like, I like the little picture right there. It's like a big blue alien with thingies on its head. Nancy on a stripper pole. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it was, it was funny. It's funny when I saw it the first time anyways. Let's see here. Looks like Triamon. Let's have a look at the galaxy. That's where we should start at. You'll notice that there's these little ships flying around now. You can actually attack these ships somehow. I'm not really sure how you attack them because I haven't figured it out yet. But you can be a pirate now. And so you can just blow up other people's ships and take all their stuff. So we've got Loft. We've got Triamon. We've got Zombotch. We've got Seasock Bass or Base Rife. And we've got Mutterflam. And Mutterflam appears to be like the earth of the whole system. So let's have a look around. Oh, and Wayne Step. Okay, just in case you hadn't had enough of the Wayans, they're over here with a planet named after their particular dance step. So anyway, let's go ahead and buy some ship stuff. we got to buy some rooms. I'm going to go with the cozy cabin for four. That's what we're going to start out with. Bam. So that's going to be upstairs. We also need to get ourselves some facility. No, we need to get ourselves a turlet first because I don't want anybody pooping on the floor. I'm actually going to buy the cheapo toilet right now. Cancel. Cheapo toilet. Where are you hiding? There we are. Cheapo toilet can go. Eh, we'll put it over here by the reactor. Who doesn't mind getting naked around something that might potentially be leaking horrible, nasty ions, and I don't know, all kinds of weird, tiny particles into the air that might cause mutation. But a mutation somewhere in the middle of the flight would make things a bit more interesting. Cargo hold. Honestly, we're just going to stock up super hard on cargo hold right now because I'm going to try and front load all the money we're going to make from here on out. The other thing that we're going to buy is repair bots. Actually, we need to buy ourselves. Hold on. Let's go first, and we'll get ourselves a snack box. There it is. The next thing we're going to need is actually let's hire a repair guy. We'll hire a repair guy for a little bit, and we'll just make him work for the moment. We're not going to get into combat anytime soon, so if you're expecting us to do that, it'll probably be next episode before we get into our first battle because we've got to make a bunch of money first. So we've got a toilet. We've got that. We've got two spaces here in the middle that we can make use of. What do I want to put in the middle area? Well... We could do a Neo Eureka Lab, which might be slightly helpful, but only if we can get a scientist. Do we have anybody that can do science? Let's use a scout. We'll see if we can get a scientist right now because that'll allow us to get a head start 
on our middle ring research so that we can jump straight into that. Now over on this side, okay, so we've got, he looks like he's kind of a dedicated scientist. He's got, a, well actually they've got the exact same hairstyle, but they've got different eye gear and they've also got different colored balls around their necks. So I guess that'll help us distinguish between the two. Never underestimate your ability to figure out what color balls somebody has around their neck in order to figure out if they're the person that you want. They may or may not be. Let's be off. We're going to... Actually, we need to buy some stuff first, but not on this planet. That's right. They didn't have anything that we wanted. We're on... Where are we? We're on Luft. So we're going to go to Sixsock first, I think, because that's going to be the quickest. And we'll just dock on over here. Now, there are new things happening as well that you may want to be aware of in the newest iteration of the game. There's actually a big problem with random events that seem to come up all the time now that just repeatedly kick you in the shins. I've never seen a good random event come up, so I'm assuming they're all bad, but in my previous playthrough, it felt like almost every other day something bad was happening that was bottoming out somebody's morale or making one of your rooms no longer work, which can be really, really bad for you if it's a room that you have to have, like the pilot's quarters right here. Like, for example, if the cockpit gets disabled, you are just toast until it gets fixed. And so it's become even more paramount now that you have to have somebody on your ship that can fix it just in case something stops working in between here and there. And actually, I need to set up our research as well. Middle ring research. Let's do some science. And so he should be off and doing that now. Let's take a look. Is he doing science? Yes, he is doing science, which that is precisely how science is done. You just tap on a console, there's a bunch of red text, and then a whole bunch of little cylinders with little light things light up and they just make noises. And then you're like, yay, science, and you've invented some awesome new kind of lighting device for your shoe or something. It's, it's pretty awesome. Doing science is pretty fun. You should look into it. You should look into it. Over here we've got a bunch of combat missions. And then we've also got somebody that wants... My co-workers on Luft suffer from sickness due to noxious fumes. We need to upgrade our machines. Otherwise, there will be grave consequences. He either supply us with pure iron or better tools. Hurry up and get as much as possible. So iron and tools on a 10-day time limit. Let's have a look. And we'll see if anybody's got those. So they've got iron right there, but it's kind of expensive. We'd still make a profit off of it, but both of those things are not going to benefit us right now. They've got paper over here, but not very much. And in fact, trading is not looking like it's going to benefit us very much. So, taking a look at that mission, 900 per tools. We can buy them for 500 right here. It's expensive, but I think we'd be better off with make 250 or we'll make about 350. But we can bring more volume right there. I don't think I'm going to take that mission. So we've got energy. Let's have a look around the galaxy and figure out if there's anything that we can be supplied with. I'm sure that our friend over here, what's his name? John. I'm sure the toothy and beady-eyed John is more than happy to tell us things that we can buy and sell. But I'm just ignoring him for right now because I don't know what op dop dorp dop means. My, my alien is very, very ruddy. It is not quite at the level I would need it to be. We can go to Wayne Step. What do they produce here? Do we have anybody that buys energy? Because that's pretty much what we have a lineup on right now. They buy, they consume energy drinks. That's a little bit of a dirty trick. I was hoping that they would, yeah. They produce computers over here. We might actually make a run, and eh, we don't have enough money. What do they have at Loft? They consume energy. So we'll go ahead and we'll sell some energy at Loft for right now. And so off we go to Loft. Just loafing around. I'm going to speed this up because obviously nothing interesting is going to happen in between here and there unless we get a random event and then it might be slightly interesting, although it's going to be interesting more in the realm of, oh my god, the ship is on fire, let's all run around and be terrified interesting than it will like, oh, this is actually inherently entertaining in an educational and or fun fashion. You'll forgive me for a moment. I dropped my timer, and it's laying on the floor right now, and I can't find it. It appears to have bounced off into a strange location, so I'm going to return very, very shortly with my timer in hand to make sure that the episode is the proper duration that you have become accustomed to. Okay, and I found it. It was underneath a blanket sitting on the floor. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye just as I was starting to complain about the fact that I couldn't find it. See, the rooms are still deteriorating at a ridiculous rate. Like, I'm not really sure that the repair guys actually help that much. We're still spending a lot of money on repairs after only two jumps. I definitely think that's something that needs to be looked at. Like, if you've got a guy taking up a slot on your ship, he should definitely be, like, handling all the repairs that need to get done. Let's sell off. Oh, they're full on energy. They are full on energy. Oh, my God. So now we're stuck with a cargo hold full of energy and nowhere to unload it. Oh, God. And, yeah, I'm hoping that's ironic praise that you're giving me right there. I guess we'll go to base right then. I mean, it sucks. I mean, there's nothing we could do about it, though. So off we go. 
Hopefully we don't run out of money in the early game because frankly, that might try my patience. You might hear a slight stick snapping sound as I fall into just a depraved lunacy running around my house screaming about the fact that other people are trading in the galaxy and filling up. I, they, I wish they would get rid of the tiny, tiny maximum amount that the merchants can carry. It's kind of like, so they only have space for 50 energy even though they consume energy at a rate so rapid that they actually denote it on their tourist brochure. But whatever. Hopefully this place isn't full up, but yeah, there's other people. You see all those ships flying around? They are supplying the planets now too, and so you're actually competing with other people, and there's no way to tell whether you're going to end up with a cargo hold full of worthless goods when you fly in between locations. And it happens a lot more than I like to admit. If I'm honest, I think that happens probably about 50% of the time where you load up on goods now and you get to a location and it's already full up on whatever it is that you're trying to sell. At least with the lower margin items, anything that's like 50 credits or below seems to get sold out really quickly or bought out really quickly. And the bigger stuff, I don't think the AI has like the credits or something to buy it, and so... You get kind of stuck using the higher margin stuff. It's okay. I mean, we'll figure it out as we go along, but we're trying to outfit a ship right now. And we are paying wages, so hopefully at some point we'll be able to get this thing figured out. Off we go to base right. Are we almost there? We've got to be getting close, right? Okay, awesome. And so landing on base right, hopefully we'll be able to unload some energy here. There we go. And so unloading energy. The game now tells you how much profit you make off of one of your runs. It sort of sucks because if we take a look right here... You will find, oh, we can't repair our ship, but anyways, I'd be willing to bet that almost all of our costs right there were not recouped. Like, what I would estimate is that we probably lost money on that one because it took us two runs in order to get rid of that stuff. We could take books right now, or we could take art. We don't really have the money to buy anything, so I think I'm probably going to go with books since they're a lower margin item. And we'll try and sell these off somewhere. Let's have a look and figure out if there's anywhere that needs books at the moment. I don't think anybody ever buys books from what I've seen. So it might just be a method of us getting to like the closest planet that we can. So like right there, I think it's probably going to be our better... Yeah, let's go to six, or six Sock. We'll see if we can sell that off over here, make a little bit of a profit. If we can make like 80 off each one, at least we'll make some form of cash. Because at the moment, I am definitely feeling like we've got a little bit of a death spiral. Did we just pop out? We popped... That's weird. Either way, we just exited the atmosphere of that planet, which is fine because its atmosphere is mostly methane, which very, very stinky. We are not welcome on a whole lot of planets now until we give this thing like a space shower. And showering a ship in space is actually a lot more difficult than it sounds. There's like little blobs of water floating around everywhere. You've got to kind of like direct them, like Hadouken style, to the spot that you want them to go. And then when they hit things, they don't really like absorb like they're supposed to. They kind of like break up into smaller balls of water. And so just washing your ship is a huge pain in the ass. That's all that you need to know. Let's sell off, yeah, so right there, repairing all rooms, it basically cost us all of our profit. Let's sell off some books here. So we made 1422 right there, not bad, not bad, I'll take it. If nothing else, I'll take it. And so our ship is still looking a little bit ratty. What can we buy here that we can get rid of elsewhere? We could buy energy, but I'm not interested in doing that. We can go with waste, but waste seems to be one of those things that you can really get stuck with every now and again. We could buy the paper and see if we can unload that somewhere else. Let's have a look around first and see if we can locate a location where we can sell off that paper for a better price. So over here they produce, okay, so they don't need paper. Base Rife, do you need paper? Give me more info. There we go. The button stopped working for a second. They consume paper. They do. So we could actually buy paper here and then take it back to Base Rife. So let's grab paper. We'll see if we can make some money. I'm, I apologize for doing more trading in this than I had planned on, but unfortunately there wasn't a lineup on a deal. I My last playthrough, I just bought computers with the 17,000 that they started me with, and with the computer money, I had jumped up to like 32,000 credits like instantly at the beginning of the game, and that was that. Unfortunately, that doesn't appear to be an option right now. We may be able to buy some robots fairly shortly, though, and that might get her done, so... You know, robots, the solution to all problems, both monetary and also, they're great side characters for your adventures. Like, who doesn't love having a cheeky robot around that makes bleeps and bloops? Or perhaps, oh good, he leveled up at doing science, that's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, I'm not going to promote him because we don't have the good bathroom. And he's going to need to shower after he upgrades his science because he has been earning himself a powerful stink while working at the console over here. And so... Unfortunately, we're just going to allow his miasma to just kind of occupy this area, and then later on we'll deal with his increasing needs because we can't afford to buy a new ship right now. It's just not in the stars at the moment. 
I may actually allow him to work a little bit harder. Let's go and we'll go to his tasks. And I'm going to have him repair for three parts of the day. Over here. Oh, good. They're not full up on paper. That's always nice to know. So we've made a little bit of cash right there. I may buy some robots here and we'll just kind of see how this goes. So in buying robots, let's see if we can maximize our effectiveness by finding a place where they need robots. It's rare to find anywhere that they actually like have to have robots right this second or their entire society is going to fall apart. But we might find a place that is so inclined and if we don't, we can just take them to any old planet and unload them and make a little bit of extra cash. They don't have it there. I actually don't think that anybody wants robots right now. So we're going to have to find a location that we can get to quickly. Everything's looking like it's going to take us a bare minimum of five days to arrive at. That might be the nature of being kind of on this. Okay, so we don't want to go there. We definitely don't want to go there. Let's jump to Zomboch, I guess. Do they have a spaceport? They do. Okay, we might need to repair our ship after we get there. That's the only reason that I say so. Because we are actually in a state right now where... Our ship is probably accumulating damage. I put him on three repair shifts a day, so I'm hoping he'll be able to, like, bring that around and actually get the things done that need to be done. And then he'll just, like, sleep in his off time and toilet during his off time, and then he'll be good. And then it's back to work. And the worst case scenario here is that you have to wait until he gets back to port. They do satisfy their own needs once they arrive at port. And so if these things build up a little bit, it doesn't really matter so long as you're about to make port soon. But if you're on a long voyage like we are right now, where it's going to be like seven days until you land, you may want to be careful about that. He's ready to duke, and he's also ready to eat. There it is. And he's also probably getting pretty tired, but we're not giving him enough time of day to get it done. So he'll figure it out. He'll be fine. I just need him to be repairing more stuff because we're losing way too much money on repair fees right now. Maybe worth it to get rid of him and put down a cargo thing over here. See, what I would figure is since there's no upkeep to the repair robots, I would figure they would be a little bit worse at their job than these guys. And these guys would be a little bit better because you have to pay them and also they have needs and things that need to be taken care of. This room right here is looking a little bit dimmer. Oh, it's full of trash. That's the problem. Okay. So if there's trash laying around, it increases the chance that your guys are going to get sick. If you have a bunch of trash laying around, it's bad for you. And so, yeah, see, even putting them on, we're still paying tons of money just to repair our stuff. So I don't know. I just don't know right now. We made enough of a profit off of it to make it worth it. So I think we'll probably jump back and forth using robots right now. I think I'm probably just going to get rid of him then. And we will go with... We're just going to be moving robots for a little bit. So let's go ahead and I'm going to sell those. What we'll do is we'll buy a cleaning robot and then we'll buy also a repair bot. They're expensive. Oh, they are really expensive actually. Maybe not. That's actually more than I was willing to kind of part with on this. I'd like to do like a big load of robots when we go back to... Because I think I'm going to hit Mutterflam again. Actually, if we could hit Base Right, do they make robots? Yeah, let's go to Base Right first. What we'll do is we'll hit Base Right and let me... I'm going to sell that for right now and we're just going to make do with what we have. Because that's all we can do at the moment. We'll go back to Base Rife. Let's make the little jump here. And I really, I really want to finish this episode being ready to go into combat in the next episode. That's what I'm sort of aiming for right now. And I'm not trying to be punny about aiming and then like shooting and all that sort of thing. But that is what we're going for at the moment. We need to get a bigger ship that can be in combat and have lots of modules. I probably, I'll probably, probably skip the Piranano, the Piranano or whatever the hell that ship is called. And go for the one that's at the bottom of the list. Because the Piranano doesn't have enough space. I mean, you can... It's a good fighting ship, but you're pretty much stuck with four crewmen, and then you're not going to have any extra modules to, like, clean the ship or anything like that. So you're going to be stuck in a situation where you really, 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 really need to, like, get in, kill the guy, come back, because your modules are going to be all busted up by the time you get back. Either that or you need, you need to do your research first, and then get rid of the research lab, and then after that you'll bring in a repair guy so that you don't end up there. But every time you get shot in combat... It damages different modules of your ship now, and so it can be a little bit difficult to deal with. And so these are some of the things that I'm sort of rationalizing out in front to make sure that nothing goes wrong while we play the game in the future. Alright, so we're back over here. We're going to buy some more robots. Robots? Unless he doesn't have any. Oh my god, it said you produce robots. Where are the robots that you're supposed to be producing right now? This is ridiculous. Like, are you serious right now? Ugh. All right, well, we're stuck over here. We have no choice but to go to Mutterflam then and just hope that they have robots, I guess. So off we go on another ridiculous, pointless voyage. 
that's not earning us money or doing anything beneficial to us. They create a lot of trash for it only being like four days. A surprising amount of trash. Like, where did they even get a cardboard box from? Like, where did that even... I'm not even sure we have anything on the ship that produces cardboard boxes right now. The bags make sense, but the cord the cardboard boxes? Did we just load up a whole bunch of cardboard boxes when we got here? Oof, we're not even partially the way there. Alright, well, with a long voyage in front of us, unfortunately, we've just got to sit here and wait because you can't, like, double fast forward or anything. I wish that you could because the voyages are actually the most boring part of this game is you just kind of sit around waiting for things to happen. Research on the middle ring is done. Let's go ahead and we'll start the outer ring now because I want to get a combat ship and the combat ship is not going to have room for a lab. It's only going to have room for our scientists to like operate the shield array. And so you got to do what you got to do. It slowed us down right there. So we're going to go ahead and keep it going. And hopefully in Mutterflam we'll be able to get ourselves some robots because we need to make some money like right this second. Our cash flow is looking absolutely terrible. It's not much of a flow, actually. It's more of a trickle. It's very much a kind of a dripping trickle. Almost a leak, if you will. It's kind of squeezing between very tight quarters at the moment. And we need Mo Skrilla. Mudaflam, supply me with Skrilla. Meanwhile, we can look at the other planets. So we got Funfix, Lidl, Wesp, Omi24, Polar Plexus, Yawn5. How long does a journey out there take? It can't take that long, right? Yeah, so it actually doesn't seem like it takes us that much time to get out to the outer ring because you can just kind of leap outside. You just jump straight for it. All right, let's buy robots here. He only has four, but we're going to buy them anyway. So we bought all the robots. We need to... Rep oh, there's no ship to... Re uh, okay, so we can't repair or clean our ship right now. That's going to suck. So let's get ourselves... Oh, we can't actually do that either. Let's jump to the nearest, closest planet. Like, we can't really risk being on a long voyage right now. Oh, they consume robots right there. Good. So let's go out there. They'll consume robots. Om nom 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 nom. They actually eat robots there. They're a race of people with a specially powerful dentition and also a hunger for iron, aluminum, and other, you know, nickel. They like things that are conductive, so every now and again they'll eat some gold. It's not recommended, though, because it's expensive. You have to go to the really, really nice restaurants to get gold on Fun Fix. It looks like it's just a smaller version of Earth. And so we're going from, like, big Earth to little Earth right now. How much trash is laying around? It's probably a lot. Yeah, it's a considerable amount of trash. Nothing's sparking and looking like it's breaking, though, so we might be in good shape right there. Just a bunch of dudes on a ship, letting it get all rowdy and disgusting. Can't say I blame them. I personally, I love messing up places and making them all dirty. You should see my house right now. I never clean my house. I just like bachelor pad mode, where it's just like, Mrah! except that I'm not a bachelor, but, you know. Details, details. Pedantry, pedantry. Off to fun fix to make money from our robots unless they bought them all. Oh good, they have not. And so we made a pretty sizable chunk of change right there. We may be ready... Actually, the repairs are going pretty well right now. That's only a minor repair that we have to make, so maybe he heard me talking and he decided to like... Nevin Fontana. Apparently he decided to like kick it into upper drive here and get his job done. He was... Weapons? We could buy weapons? That's the coolest thing ever. We could buy dirty hairy guns and just disseminate them throughout the or disseminate them throughout our space environment. We could buy a bunch of souvenirs too, I guess. We'll buy those. Souvenirs and guns. Hell yeah, it seems like this was a successful trip. Let's be off. And so with a crate load of souvenirs and guns, does anybody I thought I saw somewhere in the middle galaxy that used Souvenirs. Yeah, we can actually go to Zombotch and get souvenirs. So let's travel for six days to get over there. Meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw this into fast forward. I'm going to say that my name is Splattercat and this is the end of the episode. Number five, if I recall correctly, of Cosmonautica. If you're enjoying the game so far, we've had a lot of things kind of tripping us up in this episode. I was hoping to move a little bit quicker, but I guess I got to look out on the pro on the positive side. We do have our middle research done and we're working on our outer ring research right now. So there are things that we have accomplished right now. After we get done, what's in store in the next episode is we're going to try and make a little bit of money here. If we can make a nice grip, we can then move on to like the middle galaxy and start fighting. We can start taking quests to like kill people and make lots of money being just basically a mercenary. We might be able to raid and pillage a little bit, become a little bit of a pirate. But I figure with this playthrough, assuming nothing goes wrong, we should have about 10 days on it to really sort of buckle down and just play around with the game once we get everything researched, make a bunch of money. I don't really know what our goal is going to be. As a tentative goal, I would probably say that my goal is probably to make like 150,000 credits or something, and once we get to that point, we'll probably break off the sandbox playthrough and we'll move on to something else. I mean, I've gotten to the point right now where 
on the Nerd Castle. I'm just cutting as many episodes as I need to in order to keep as many series running as possible. Like, I don't really mind. The schedule has basically fallen by the wayside. And I'm just, like, uploading things haphazardly at this point. But nonetheless, I'll see you on the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. And as always, hi-do from me to you from Cosmonautica.